So you want to know how we did $8,000 in profit on our Shopify dropshipping store with no paid ads and purely TikTok organic traffic? Well, let me show you how. So as you can see on our dashboard, we've done over $17,000 in revenue, and that's a total profit of 8,000, as I said earlier. And I'm just gonna give you a month by month breakdown of everything that we did to yield these numbers. So in the first month, we only did about $200 in revenue, but I'm just gonna break down kind of how we found the product and everything we did to get it to that point. So we found the product initially on the TikTok feed, and this was just through basic word of mouth marketing. There was a bunch of influencers that ordered this product off of Amazon and were just marketing the product without actually getting paid for it. And it just goes to show just how useful the product was to them because they really wanted to to put it out there and show how useful it was. So once we saw that it was a viable product, we actually ordered a few samples. Uh, there was a lot of different colors, a lot of different sizes. We just decided to order a few samples of it, which costed about $100 in the beginning. And then I went ahead and built a one product brand around the product. As you guys know, one product stores is really good for improving your conversion rates and really making your product look like a real brand. And then once I got the products, I went ahead and created about 10 to 20 TikTok videos and then posted about two to three times per day for a solid two weeks. And then within those first couple of weeks, we actually managed to get five orders which is about $236.88 in revenue. And then at this point, I actually kind of hit a roadblock with the content because it just wasn't really getting viral in the way that I wanted to. So in the second month, which was July of 2022, my business partner took over and actually created better TikTok videos that really related with our niche in our target audience. And I'm gonna explain more about this later. So we then just focused more on quality over quantity and just posted one TikTok video per day as we found that posting multiple times per day wasn't really helping our results as much. So instead, we really just doubled down on making each video as quality as possible and really relate with our niche as possible. And as you can see, this simple change yielded pretty good results. We did $3,500 in revenue with about 1.5K in net profit. And that was without paying a single dime on ads. And then that brings me onto our third and fourth months. So in August, we did about 1K in net profit with a 37% profit margin. So even though we did no paid ads, the margin was slightly lower this month because we actually ordered a few more samples. We had a lot of backend expenses like apps, subscriptions, and other various things that kind of brings the margin a little bit lower. But as you can see in September, we had a really solid month of $7,000 in revenue, netting us about 4.6K in net profit after all expenses. And that's a profit margin of 45%. But what really helped in our total net profit of 4.6K was that we got a bulk order from another company, bringing our total realistic revenue at about 9K, which then yielded that 4.6K in net profit. And then in the fourth and fifth month in October, we did only 1K in revenue, but we still got about $500 in net profit almost. And then in November, we did 1.9 9K in revenue with almost 1K in net profit, which is a 47% margin. And the cool thing about the stats that you're seeing here is that in these months, we actually got really busy with our other projects and we actually weren't focusing as much on creating content for this store. So much of the profit that we made were actually through all the videos that we have already posted in the prior months. So we can kind of think of this as slightly passive income, given that we barely posted these months. We only posted about 10 videos in these two months combined. So that was just a quick overview month by month, how much we made. And you're probably wondering, okay, how exactly do we do it? So the first step of actually making money through TikTok organic dropshipping is of course finding the product, right? And as I said earlier, we found it organically through the TikTok feed and it was just being reviewed by several UGC influencers who bought the product from Amazon and just wanted to let people know how awesome it was. So when you have a lot of people just vouching for the product and they're not getting paid by a company, that's already a key indicator that this is a good product to dropship. And then the next thing that we saw and what you also wanna see on other products is look at the comments and see how many other people actually agree with these influencers and actually think it's a cool product? And is there actual demand of the product? So we saw in the comments that there were a bunch of people saying like, I want it now, like, where is the link? How can I get it? You know, this showed that there was definite demand on this product. So a good example is this uh, product that I found randomly on my feed the other day. Uh, this is basically just a digital art frame, as you can see right here. And it was only posted about a week ago, but what we look for is look at the comments and see how much demand there is. As you can see, there's a lot of people saying, where can I buy it? 17 likes because a lot of people wanna know where they can buy it. Wow, this is so cool, I need one. What is the name of the product? You know, that shows that people are really crazy over it and that there's definite demand. So that's a key indicator whether a product is actually worth dropshipping. Another good thing to do is search up keywords on TikTok for the product in question, just to see how much competition there actually is for that product. Me personally, I typically try to stay away from products that are really saturated and are being sold by so many other dropshippers. A key product I would definitely stay away from, at least at this point in time, is the Flame Diffuse because I've literally been seeing a billion of stores running videos for this product. And I'm not trying to say that it's not working because it clearly is working for some people and I'm sure people are getting sales off of this. 
It's just, if I'm gonna actually sell a product that's gonna make like a respectable amount of net profit, selling this type of product with this many competitors, it's gonna be really hard, especially if you're not that experienced in marketing and you don't know how to take this product in a different angle and separate yourself from the competitors. So that's what was good about the product that we found is that when we search up keywords on TikTok, there was literally no stores running any videos for the product. All the proof that we needed was actual real life people ordering the product and saying how much they liked it. And then what was also good is that when we checked the item on AliExpress, the total order amount was under a thousand, which definitely showed it was fairly untapped and that the competition was really low. So once we validated that this was a good product to sell, we went ahead and sourced the product from CJ Dropshipping. If you don't know what that is, it's basically just a much better alternative to AliExpress. It gives you faster shipping times, cheaper prices, and it's just overall better when you're first starting out. And then we went ahead and ordered the product, which is super important because if you're going to dropship a product, you want to make sure that it actually does as you're advertising to do. And you want to make sure that the quality of the product is actually good. So once we received the products, the product actually ended up being a really good quality product. It is definitely not easy to find a good quality dropshipping product. And I'm telling you right now, a lot of products out there are really bad quality, but I do want to let you know, good quality products on AliExpress in China do exist as the product that we're dropshipping right now is living proof of that. So once we figured out it was good quality, it gave us further confidence to continue making a videos and to continue selling the product. So now I'm just going to go a little bit more depth of our actual TikTok content strategy. As I mentioned before, we really focused on quality over quantity and only posted once per day on our TikTok profile. Within these videos, we really took time to craft our content to blend in within the feed of our target audience. So we really had to take time and understand who is our target audience and what does their actual TikTok feed look like on a day to day basis? Is it filled with meme content? Is it filled with ASMR? Is it filled with all those type of things? You want to think how can you craft your content to blend in with their feed so that they don't skip over your video? So for example, if you're selling like a beauty product, what I would do is actually look up top brands within that niche, look at their most viral videos and see exactly down to the detail. How are they formulating their videos? What is their hook? What does their setting look like? What kind of rooms? What kind of objects are they portraying in the background? How dynamic is the video? Meaning how many cuts are there between each frame of the video? So if you could really dial that in and try to closely replicate the ideal videos that your ideal target market would actually see on their feed, you're going to get a lot more watch time and you're going to get much better chances to go viral. And that's exactly how we managed to get multiple videos, getting multiple millions of views by purely focusing on quality over quantity. And then the way that we actually made our videos is we used the app on our phone called InShot. I highly recommend using this tool because it's a very easy way to edit all of your videos. It's a lot faster than having to transfer all of your videos to your computer and use something like Adobe Premiere. InShot literally lets you edit pretty similarly in the way that you can on Adobe as far as making cuts, being able to layer different tracks of content and all of those things. And then the next thing is you really want to keep a consistent and realistic posting schedule for yourself. And for us, that was simply just posting once per day and really focusing on making those videos actually good. And as I mentioned earlier, for us, posting several times per day did not help to increase our chances of going viral at all. It would actually just hurt the performance of every video that we would post. So I'm not saying that's going to happen to you, but if you are going to post multiple times per day, you better make sure those videos are actually as quality as possible. Otherwise, I would just recommend just doing once per day so that you allow the TikTok algorithm to push out a video that you actually worked hard for. And then for each video, we used about four to six hashtags per video. Again, this is something you don't need to overcomplicate. What I will say is that for at least 10 to 15 of your videos, make sure to use the same combination of your hashtags. If you keep switching up your hashtags with every videos that you upload, you're just going to confuse the TikTok algorithm and you're going to hurt your chances of going viral because TikTok is just going to keep feeding your video to different audiences and it's not going to be able to learn who the best audience is to show your videos to. We always made sure to use trending sounds and sounds that have been used within the last 24 to 48 hours. And the way to find that out is simply just going on the sound and just seeing if there's any other viral videos that have been posted within 24 to 48 hours. This is like a key indicator that the trend is still on an uprise and that if you could post within at least 24 hours after that, you're going to get a better chance to at least get pushed by the algorithm. So the next thing is actually the store creation. And honestly, this is something you do not want to overcomplicate. The simpler your store, the better. Because when you're actually creating good quality content on TikTok, your content should already be selling the consumer because you're demonstrating the product and giving every reason why that customer should buy. So from that point on, all they need is the most simplistic way to buy your product without any other flashy things, anything that's going to distract them from doing otherwise. However, the one thing you can do to separate yourself from other competitors and actually improve your conversion rate is by taking custom photos of your product and make your product help your consumer visualize 
how it could be applied to their lifestyle. So as you can see on this slide, I have a picture from a brand called Bayes Travel, and they do a really good job of portraying lifestyle images all across their store because it helps their consumers visualize how they can use their key product, which is the travel suitcase, and how it could be utilized in their life. So just look at this picture. It's literally this woman smiling, who's clearly at the airport with the luggage, showing how amazing it is to be using this product in their life. So that's pretty much the same approach we took with our products. We took specific photos that really helps the consumer visualize how it can be applied in their lifestyle. And I just wanna end off this video with a few extra tips. When you actually start to generate consistent sales, and that could literally even just be two to three sales per day, I would highly recommend reaching out to a private supplier to start fulfilling your orders. As I've mentioned, we originally sourced our product from CJ and we're actually just fulfilling our first 100 orders through CJ dropshipping once we can validate that we can actually have a little bit of consistency. But the way to find a private supplier to actually fulfill your products is by joining multiple e-commerce and dropshipping Facebook groups and just make a post saying, hey, we're looking for a private supplier in China who can help fulfill our product to the US or whatever your target country is. And you're probably gonna get a bunch of comments on that post. You're gonna get a bunch of DMs. Make sure to check your spam folder on Facebook. You just wanna get in touch with them and compare the quotes that they give you for the product plus the shipping. And what I wanna mention is always ask for Unixpress shipping. In my experience, it is the fastest and the most stable shipping line to drop ship your products to the US. And this shipping line is available to multiple countries, not just to the US, but also to the UK, Australia, the top European countries like France, Germany. And with this shipping line alone, a lot of our orders have been able to be delivered to our customers in the US within just five days at the minimum and about 12 days at the max. So this is how you could build a really good customer experience because you're providing really fast shipping times for your customers and less complaints. And another key thing I wanna mention is that when you are reaching out to multiple suppliers, you can have a few suppliers fulfill maybe one to two of your orders so that you could kind of split test to see which supplier can fulfill your product faster and which one has better communication overall. So that's pretty much the end of the video. That's basically all the steps that we took to take our store to $17,000 in revenue with about $8,000 in profit. If I left anything out in this video, feel free to comment down below and I'll be more than happy to answer you guys' questions. And also make sure to subscribe as I'm going to be going over another one of our Shopify stores that is also doing really well with TikTok organic traffic. With that being said, my name is Tay and I'll catch you guys on the next one.